Hello everybody, this is Lucas with a little Studio One 6 quick tip. In Studio One we have these nice little micro view controls in the mixer that you can use to control the most important parameters of your plugins directly in the channel strip without even having to open the plugin. But these micro view controls were only available for Studio One internal plugins. What's new in Studio One 6 is that you can use these controls also for any of your third party plugins, such as FabFilter, Isotope, and so forth. Just click on the plugin header to expand this panel, and Studio One will show you the first five parameters of the plugins. Well, that's already pretty cool, but these may not be the parameters that you like to have in this view. No problem, you can of course customize these parameters. Just right click on the controls panel and choose setup micro edit parameters. And now you get these two lists. On the left side there are the parameters that Studio One has picked automatically. Let's remove them all just for the sake of demonstration. And on the right you have a list of all the parameters of that specific plugin. So what I can do now is I can just select the parameters I'd like to have in my panel. You can either double click them to add them one by one or press Ctrl or Command on Mac to select the ones you like and then just click the add button to move them over to our list. Now here's the actual quick tip because people complain that this is not exactly the most intuitive way to select parameters from a plugin that has many parameters and sometimes you don't really know which is the parameter you're looking for. So let me show you a much easier way to select parameters directly from the plugin itself. First open the plugin window. Then turn the knob or whatever control you like. And once you do that, you see that this parameter appears in the control link automation panel in the top left. And you probably already know that you can take this hand symbol and drag it onto a track in your arrangement to insert an automation. But in this case, I just take the hand symbol and drag it onto the plugin slot in the mixer. And that's all you need to do to add a parameter to these micro views. So let's add some more parameters, touch the parameter and drag it over. So that's a really intuitive way of customizing the micro view controls for your favorite plugins. That's it for today. I hope you liked this quick tip. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss any new hidden gems in Studio One 6, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.